What's going on, everybody? This is Temperature Check. I am your host, as always, man. Mr. Check the Temperature, how y'all doing? Before we get started with today's content, I must do what I always do anytime you see me on your screen, and that is thank you guys for the likes, comments, shares, and most importantly, those subscriptions. So whether you be a day one fan or someone who just locked in with the channel just today, man, I greatly appreciate it. And if you're loving the content, you're loving what I got going here, man, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, Mr. Check the Temperature on both of those platforms. But let's get off into today's topic. Battle rap community, y'all didn't waste no time pissing me off this morning, did y'all? I ain't even, I barely got home from the gym. I, I just got done showering, barely brushed my teeth. I ain't even ate breakfast yet. And y'all already didn't piss me off. So what y'all are mad today about the fact that DNA, DNA and Charlie Clips were hired by the Democratic Party uh, representatives of Joe Biden and Camilla Harris, that black queen that must be protected at all times. Um, you're mad at them because they did a Democratic campaign uh, battle and promoted the Democratic Party and what they're running on. Why? Why are you mad? What was their alternative? You wanted them to... Now, if they would have came out with a video promoting Trump, then where would we be? This is what I don't understand. Y'all say that y'all don't want someone in a suit representing y'all, right? You don't want someone in a suit representing y'all. But then the moment you get somebody in a snapback, you got a problem with it. That doesn't make any sense. You can't have it both ways. You either want somebody from corporate America to represent you, or you want somebody of your community, from your community, to represent you and have a voice and an opinion about what's going on with these upcoming elections. Now, if you don't realize how critical this election is, which I don't know how the hell you don't, but clearly some of y'all do not realize this. It's a lot of things that's going on with this with this election. You got the Affordable uh, Care Act up for grabs. You got um, Obamacare in its entirety. You got DACA. You got student loans. Like, what are y'all talking about? Y'all are mad that they actually, y'all have a voice now. Battle Rap community has a voice. When in any election... Tell me in any presidential election was the battle rap community our target area for voters. Some of y'all don't vote. They should be talking to y'all. Do y'all know how, how close some of these elections are? And I'm not even talking about on a national level. Let's use your state and local level. I'll use my state, the state of Nebraska. Do you know Donald Trump Jr. has been here three times in a week? Because traditionally Nebraska is a red state. However... When in 2008, when Barack Obama was first up for election, we split our co our college votes. We split we split our electoral votes. Do you know how important that is? From a red state, a Republican state, to split their their electoral college votes, and that's what we're on the brink of right now. I know somebody who is knee deep, very close to me, knee deep in politics right now, helping a political campaign for the state of Nebraska. And when I tell you last time, this this very same person that was running for Congress, they lost by hundreds of votes. So when people say every vote matters, they really do mean that. So y'all explain to me that you're mad now. You're mad at DNA and Charlie Clips because they put out a video supporting the Democratic Party. Would you have been just as mad if they would have supported Donald Trump? Would you have been just as mad if they would have supported all these alt-right organizations? Would you have been just as mad if they would have supported um, uh, a bigot group? Y'all don't make no sense. You don't want you don't want a voice. That's what you're saying. You don't want a voice. So, so what the information was not 100% accurate. Do you think that all politicians are telling the truth? If you do, sir, I'm sadly mistaken. Ma'am, if you do think that, I'm sadly, you're sadly mistaken. It's not. No. You got to make the best decision for yourself. And I'm not about to sit here and tell you who to vote for. But come November 3rd, your voice better be fucking heard. That's ridiculous. What y'all mad about for real? Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. You're mad because you have a voice. You're mad because you have a spotlight. TMZ picked this up. Double XL picked this up. This is now made international news. It's international news for today. So what are you crying for? What are you complaining about? And I'm about to play the video at the end of this. So y'all let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Get y'all damn minds together.
Yo, why you ain't been answering your phone? You know why I'm calling you. You have to vote. You know why I don't vote? Because as a black man, I just feel like there's no hope. Our president telling people to go back to China, taking the coronavirus as a joke. And that's the part that frightened me. When you choose a president, it's supposed to be a knockout. Then why this situation doesn't entice me? If you got the answers to get me out this dark path, my brother, enlighten me. We always telling each other to stay woke. That's why this time we got to use our voice and you have to vote. The facts should show. Biden has a plan for African Americans. We're not dealing with your average Joe. I see the way you looking right now. You know exactly where I'm going to go with this. For four years, we had Trump in office and we made the most of it. But we finally got somebody that could be in office that could give us a chance to have home ownership. I'm talking to all of you. $640 billion over the course of 10 years so we could finally get housing that's affordable. Look at him now. I got him stuck with Biden and Harris plan. We got to trust because we can't say we support Obamacare, but rock with Trump. So Harris and Biden is going to help with black ownership, huh? OK, maybe it's true. But what about the black colleges and all the funding for the HBCUs? Is Biden going to follow in Obama footsteps and go all out with health care? Or is he going to laugh at us like our president now while our people struggle on welfare? You see, I did my research which is exactly why I could rebuttal that. Biden and Harris planning to put 70 billion to the HBCU. We not just talking about a couple racks, giving teachers a raise. What Trump attempted to do, they plan to double that. And as far as the rich and poor with schools, the whole goal is to end the funding gap. That sounds legit. Only if our president now would quit. Hey, did you know that unemployment for African-Americans is up this you know, percent? So when you tell me to go and vote, go and vote, well, the reason why it's such a hard one, because how we expect our people to get jobs and the president can't even get the job done. Bro, I understand it's a process, so I'm not rushing you. Take your time. You know what? Speaking of that, I got the perfect place to take you that'll change your mind. So you think because you brought me here that I'm just supposed to confide in Biden? What about the innocent blacks that get snatched out their vehicles just for riding? We don't even ask for much. All we do is ask for respect. Before they did what they did to George Floyd, this country had their foot on our neck. Now do you understand why I'm upset? I feel you. Because every time we throw the system an uppercut, all they give us in return is low blows. But Biden and Harris got a plan to outlaw the chokehold. It's inspiring. Donald Trump is the apprentice, but now it's our turn to do the firing and review every before we hire him. Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, Eric Gardner, Trayvon Martin, say their damn names. The goal is to get Donald out of office and Trump his campaign. You know, before you actually caught my phone, I honestly had no hope. But if Biden and Harris going to do exactly what you said, then I'm going to go vote.